All right, so I thought I would do a quick review on the on-stage desk. So this is going to be in multiple parts, but here's what the box looks like when it was shipped to me. Um, looks like there's a couple of damages around it, uh, but some people were saying that they were having trouble putting this thing together and that some parts weren't um, coming together very well. So I'm going to put it together and do this video and then uh, we'll see uh, how difficult and the actual size of what this desk can do. Okay, so I just opened it. So let's take a look and see how well this thing was packaged. So looks like I have a large piece of cardboard here first. Throw that over there. And looks like these are the metal stands. Everything is zip tied together. Let's see if we can pull all of this out. They had some styrofoam in here in case of any rumbling and damages. So let's put the styrofoam over here. Get all of this out of the way. Okay. So it looks like these are, this is the base of the thing. I think most of the weight is actually coming from these metal bars. And we'll just put this off to the side. I'll lay that down carefully. Okay. And then I'm assuming these are all the parts. So we'll open that up later. And some assembly instructions. Seems pretty basic. Nothing too difficult. Okay. And then this off. Another large cardboard corner piece okay this looks like this is another box within a box so I'm gonna open this up all right so I got all the metal parts out of the plastic um, here I do want to note though that there is a slight um, metal piece that is sticking out and I'm assuming because this is the bottom part here where the slide out table would be um, so just in case if you're sliding in maybe that might um, that might cut you a bit so but that's probably just my mine as it the way it came in so I may have to do something right there but that's the only error that I see in the welding here everything else seems pretty good um, also when you're taking the wrapper off this there is uh, this stuff here all the bolts and nails are actually in there so make sure you don't throw away the plastic um, without kind of checking it first. And then uh, I'm going to open up this box and then we'll see what's in this one. All right, so opening up the small box, it was actually the, um, this is going to be for the keyboard drawer. And then we have the smaller box. And all this stuff here is the desk itself, as well as um, the top shelf and then the, uh, third shelf as well so let's see what piece is this so this must be it's one of the long ones I don't see any scratches on the wood so far so that's good and here's another one same thing this here is the keyboard drawer oh put that over there and then this looks like this is the desk itself or let me see actually I think this might be the top shelf and then I think this is the desk itself yeah this is the desk itself <clears throat> and this is the top shelf huh well the top shelf is a lot larger than I thought it would be which is a good thing because you can actually rest monitors right on top of them um let me see if i can grab one of the monitors i have right now i just moved into an apartment so i'm putting this desk together these are standard monitors here this is a 19 inch and a 27 inch so if you look at the base um you know they're pretty small so you can definitely fit um you know a lot there uh but my 27 inch which is my ben q and this monitor is huge oh, and it has a huge base 
let's see the size comparison. Oh, it's perfect. I've got plenty of room too to do other things on top of the, uh, the top desk. Cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it together and then if I run into any issues, um, I'll make sure to document it and then do a full review at the desk here as soon as I'm done. So I've got the base frame put together now. Um, you can kind of see there. Um, I didn't tighten anything, so it's still very loose, but at least it's on and together. And when I'm putting together the, I just started doing the keyboard tray. And when I looked at these two pieces here, I've noticed that this one's missing on this side here. Um, and this, I'm assuming, is for the keyboard tray to go all the way to the very end when I'm pulling it out and then pushing it in, it'll go all the way back there. So that's fine. I am missing a rubber piece on this side. However, I don't think it's a big deal because they both stop at this little metal thing that's kind of popping up here. And there's one right here. So worst case scenario, um, I'm just going to have to pop this off so that when I pull the keyboard tray out, um, at least I will have something different or the, the same on both sides. That or, yeah, it's probably going to do just probably take that off. So that's something to note, which is kind of a shame that I'm missing that piece. All right, so here's an update of the keyboard tray. Uh, it's almost done put together. I'm having issues with this bolt here on this side and then um, one of the bolts on this side, I think it's this one right here, that are not screwing in for some reason and they're making um, a larger hole and uh, the wood is becoming a little bit more loose. Um, so I may have to find an alternate option if I can't um, screw it in any further. Uh, however, I managed to put the top part, whoa, top part of the desk on and what's interesting is that there are two let me take this screw out lift this up there are four different spots so depending on which is kind of nice so depending on the desk um, right now I have it kind of shoved um, a little bit farther back so that I would have more desk space when I put the main desk on here um, so that's kind of cool that you can actually do two different variations so you can have it kind of like right to here or if you want you can move it out a little bit further so you have more of an underneath um, kind of space. But I typically probably want to move it back as far as I can just so I can have more space on the, on the main desk here. So that's kind of something to note which is kind of cool so you can have two different um, sizes. Okay so I figured out a way to screw these in a little bit better. You're probably going to want to get a screwdriver and you're going to want to hold down with this screwdriver, uh, hold down this bolt while you screw in those four, and then you kind of want to wiggle it. So wiggle it as you screw in this here so that, because this bolt is essentially what this is drilled in, except in the middle of it is a, a hole. So it's a hole to where this can go into. Um, into this. I'm not sure what that's called, but that's what it does. So it can go straight through this bolt. So you're going to want to have uh, a screwdriver to kind of hold it and jiggle it so that this can reach this because sometimes they're twisted in a wrong angle. And that's why I wasn't able to screw them in. But now that I've got the keyboard tray in, um, things have been, been uh, going pretty good. So I'm going to finish this up and then let's see how it looks all put together. All right, so here's the desk all put together. This is from the back end. And then let's move on over here to the front. You can see it's pretty, pretty big, actually. Yeah, it's actually pretty big. It wasn't that difficult to assemble. You just have to take your time and kind of be careful a little bit. Um, but it's pretty good construction. I really like how solid it feels, especially once I have um, all my equipment on top of it. Um, the desk will be a little bit more sturdy just because there's a uh, more weight added.